Well, Southampton boasts the longest unbeaten run in the top four tiers of English football. The target this afternoon, a sixth win in a row at St Mary's to keep on the coattails of the top two. Standing in the way, Swansea City, a club where Russell Martin spent two years stuck in the dugout. Southampton's biggest crowd was some 12 seasons ago against Coventry City. It's not far from that, it's over 32,000 this afternoon, we guess. And here comes the Scotland international Stuart Armstrong, but Flynn Downs just judged to have uh, fouled Jamie Patterson. An opportunity for Swansea to put pressure on that Southampton rear guard, and it's uh, bouncing around dangerously. And what a golden opportunity that was early doors. And it is blazed over the crossbar. Was there a flag raised? I don't think there was. No, it should be 1 0 Swansea. Lung busting run from Josh Timmon. And Timmon comes in field to Jamie Patterson. And now there's an opportunity here for Bashir Humphreys, who's high up the pitch. And Humphreys will lift it towards the far plug. Here's a clear chance of Jamal Lowe. And the former Portsmouth striker with a horrible finish got all his angles wrong. And it was well, well wide of the target. No, this isn't. Uh, a Swansea side to be over underestimated by any stretch of the imagination. And here, again, neat work in midfield by Southampton and a chance for Ryan Manning to gather pace down that left side in the shape of Samuel Adozi and two or three step overs and Adozi goes to the byline beautifully and tees it back for Stuart Armstrong. A Rebo shot deflected and in! City Bill, and you know, there used to be a number seven who wasn't so bad around these parts. <laughs> they have a new hero because Joe Arrivo has opened his account for the season with a deflected finish, and Saints are one up. And it all comes to that brilliant play to get out of the, the Swansea press. Great one touch football between the defenders. We get down the outside, good counter attack. Sam Adozi, one, two, three, four step overs. Looks across, great dummy. Good pullback, Stuart Armstrong. But then it falls to Joe Rebo. And I'm with you, Lawrence. I like it when they play one centrally. And Adam Armstrong or Shea Adams. I think it works better. Well, Adam Armstrong is making a run through the middle here as this Saints attack develops down the left side with Ryan Manning joining it. And then that was a Samuel Adozi in full flight. He was chopped to the ground. I reckon that will be a yellow card, will it? Yeah. It will. The delivery is from Manning, and it's headed away and behind, out of harm's way by Bashir Humphreys. Southampton looking to extend their advantage here before half-time. Manning's corner, and it's headed goalwards, and it's breaking away to this left-right side again, and Walker-Peters in a whole load of room will play it flat across. And it was a real chance for Adam Armstrong there. He didn't really get a powerful shot, powerful connection. Alan Sheehan furiously applauding his side for just closing out Southampton. Then a long searching pass from Bednarek trying to seek out the run of Kyle Walker Peters, who got goal side of his marker and kept his feet really well as two. And that was warmly applauded by the home support. And Jack Stevens now bursts away from the challenge of Jamal Lowe. And he's going to try and find Adam Armstrong, who's turning and shooting and drawing the save from Carl Rushworth. What a short chance that was, and an excellent effort from Adam Armstrong. Four wins away from their South Wales home ground for Swansea this season. Uh, nearly a backward pass, but horribly wrong, and it's back heeled into the net by Samuel Adozi, was it? Yes, the goal is given. It's a third goal in four games for Samuel Adozi, whose confidence is booming at the moment. And the 20-year-old winger capitalises on an unlikely Christmas gift from the Swansea City defence and double Southampton's advantage. It is Saints 2, Swansea City 0. That is exactly what we went to do for the second half. Just comes from the pressure from Southampton, a mistake from the goalkeeper, just slashes at the ball. It looks like it may have not gone over the line, but it obviously has because the referee looked at his watch and got the signal that it had. So great for Sam Adozi again. And it's that pressure off the ball from Southampton, that intensity, willing to try and win the ball back in the opposition half. Kabango 
And they're doing well here, Swansea, and they've reversed the pass towards Patino. And Joe Allen had burst into the Southampton penalty area. Shot comes in. Well, it was a good opportunity there, and it wasn't taken by the substitute. Here's Timmon. And that's a good run down that left flank here for Jamie Patterson. And Patterson will burst into the Southampton penalty area and lay it across. It's deflected right across the six-yard box. And there was no white shirt on hand to knock it into an empty net. Well, you'd want to watch that again because Patterson's movement is superb. And Albert Bellis had to have one or two extra passes there or moments. Opening up here for Joe Rebo. And he's got Walker Peters outside. Charlie Alcaraz in the middle. Aribo had continued his run, still Walker Peters. And now Aribo pulled wide right, threatens to shoot, now does, and saved low and smartly by Ben Cabango. Yeah, good play. Uh, good. By the goalkeeper Rushworth. Yeah, good play from Carl Walker Peters and, and Joe Aribo. Good run on the outside from Joe Robert. Eventually gets it and then drives into the box in a one on one situation, looking for that half a yard to try and curl it around a, a Swansea player so the keeper can't get it. What's it like to hear that anthem around the ground as a player, Dean? At this stage of superiority, we'll come back to that because here comes Adam Armstrong through the middle. Ryan Fraser! What a strike! You just wind him up and let him go like a clockwork mouse. And with a curl finish like that, he always makes an impact. And now Southampton have three and are on their way to a priceless three points here. St Mary's. It is Southampton 3, Swansea City nil. Well, it's got even louder now, Lawrence, since answer to your question. Brilliant atmosphere, you can see. But what a finish from Ryan Fraser. Brilliant, really, really good. Difficult position when you're so far behind the the ball as Swansea are. Manning is overlapping and played it across the far post and it was so similar to Sekumara's <laughs> goal the other day against Blackburn Rovers. I mean, what a wonderful piece of play. Fantastic cross. Didn't even look Ryan Manning, just put it into an error. And Mara knows, so it must be something they work on. Manning's ball has found Charlie Alcaraz in space. Neat layoff and a 1-2. And then Alcaraz is chopped to the ground by Joe Eleanor. The second one was no, not needed at all. And a yellow card surely for the veteran Welsh international. His team very much in the arrears here as Manning's free kick into the Swansea City penalty area is cleared out of harm's way. But they're running into traffic once more, and here's the Argentinian Alcaraz. Oh, lovely shimmy by Alcaraz. Plays it infield to Sekumara, and it was nipped off his toes by Patino. But it's coming again here for Saints. Walker Peters plays a 1 2 delightfully, plays it across, and it was saved at the near post by Rushworth, and finally cleared away from danger by an overworked and tiring Swansea City defence. Ah, oh, brilliant from Southampton, really good. 30,279 is the attendance at St Mary's this afternoon and great to have your company as well on Saints play wherever you may be worldwide particularly any new subscribers to the service offered by Southampton Football Club we're hoping you're having a very joyous Yuletide and a peaceful and relaxing time wherever you may be this is certainly a a very good performance that bodes well for Russell Martin's team. And they're coming forward looking for a fourth here. Laid back by Sekimara. And Ryan Fraser rifles it into the roof of the net. He had two goals before his substitute entrance. He's got two this afternoon now. And four for the season. What an afternoon for the Newcastle lone man. And what a performance from Southampton Football Club. They mean business. They're on the coattails of Ipswich Town. Southampton 4, Swansea City 0. They're the promoted team. They're doing well. They're getting all the plaudits. But, you know, suddenly when there's an expectation and you lose a couple of games, Lawrence, that's when the real test comes. And here is Ryan Fraser, who's, of course, on a hat-trick, the Southampton substitute. Fraser again, finds space, lifts it across the middle, and it's stabbed into the net! It's a nap hand for Southampton, and Shay Adams has put the icing on the Christmas cake. It has been a wonderful performance by Saints in front of this big Boxing Day crowd, and Shay Adams 
Rose has slammed home his fifth goal of the season. What an afternoon. Ipswich Town, Southampton are on your coattails. Southampton five, Swansea nil. He does make this impact every time. Is that the best option? Maybe it is full time at St Mary's. And Southampton supporters are simply having a wonderful Christmas time.